Where are we heading for, Dad? Wide open spaces where men are men. And the women? No women. That's how we get into this thing. Yipe! Head south, boy. It's going to be a cold winter. What do you say we book our act around here for a while? Good idea. No girls anywhere as pretty as the girls in Oklahoma. Ha! Ha! But he's sung so pretty. I'll get him if it's the last thing I do. What did he tell you his name was? Frank Sinatra. Hey, Scat, how about playing some dates in Texas? Now nah, you're talking. No girls anywhere as pretty as the girls in Texas. I reckon we lost them, Buck. Yeah, but they're gonna be mighty easy to track down. One of them told my little sister his name was Gene Autry. Louisiana. No girls anywhere, pretty as the girls. No, you don't. We're gonna stay right here and get ourselves a job. <laughs> I know, don't phone us, we'll phone you. Don't race your motor dip them out, they'll book the date for us. We're no, gonna be eating again. kidding, that's good news for the mice. Now we can quit stealing their cheese. I'm so hungry, my pucker won't puck. Well, my waistline was practically back to normal. Which one? Where are we playing? Johnson's Mammoth Carnival. Oh, the seals couldn't make it, huh? What a setup. We run the gamut, we sing, we dance, we recite, and then you do your specialty. Oh, I'll blow them out of the joint. Well, this is a little different. This uh, is a novelty act. <laughs> what kind of novelty? All you have to do is ride a bicycle. What kind of bicycle? Uh, it's a regulation bicycle, standard equipment. Oxyacetylene lamp, new departure coaster brake. Uh, do I ride it fast? The slower the better. Uh, no hands, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, that's entirely up to you. Well, pack up your bugle. Let's fly from this flea bag. Lucky our laundry came back. This time, I'll take the money so some gal won't tear it out of you with tears. Oh, no more. Heart of stone. That's me. Come along. What is this? Do you want to wake up the desk clerk? Come along. My body and me, we're happy all day through. You'll always see us laughing hot like little boys. We're so full of joys, and that's why we say to you, we're on our way to Apalachicola, Apalachicola. Tell me, boy, where's Apalachicola? Clever town, down south. Down south? Yeah. Well, what are we wearing this long underwear for? Well, we're quite a target. I know your trees in blossom and a pretty southern gal. It's better than the orange groves in Cougamonga Cal. We're gonna stay along the Apalachicola Bay. We may stop in Oakland Corner for some harm and a grit. Or pass through Tallahassee if the weather permits. We're on our way, 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 way to Apalachicola Appalachia. Down upon the swan. The Swanee River. Swanee. Oh, that old Swanee. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get down there. Mm -hmm. See my little old mammy with that load of cotton coming up the road. And there's my sweet old pappy. Mm -hmm. He's always got a load. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that Confederate moonlight shines down and make those stills look so swanky. You know that Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. They barbecue a Yankee. Yuck, 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 yuck. Carry me back to Virginia. Virginia. Ow. Oh. Uh, to the schoolhouse down which I would wind. With my little bitty old ball weevil trudging behind. Come along, ball. My pa bet on horses that always ran forth. So Ma rented cabins uh, uh, to the folks from mm -hmm. up north. Apalachicola, I hear you call it. Apalachicola. I'm on my way. Well, let's go.
I hope your partner does better than the great Sandor. He'll be in the hospital for at least six months. Uh, uh, yes, well, don't you worry about Barton the Magnificent. He'll give you a good show if it kills him. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You made a good deal, Mr. Johnson. You gotta go on the inside. Not for a dollar, not for a half a dollar, not even a... Does Notre Dame know about this boy? A little insurance. He'll see that your partner doesn't get cold feet. Too late. Shall we then? What a belt. You think Superman will sue? Uh oh, <laughs> just as I thought. Falsies, huh? Falsies? You kidding? That's real flair. How about this? What are you going to do with this? What's this for? Oh, I'm going to play a fast course of Dino while I'm riding the bike. Oh, this will just. Oh, no. Just whistle it, kid. Hey, my friend. It'll be all right. Don't worry. Come along. Here we go. Up. Up here? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Hey, here we go. Hey, wait a minute. Right. Where am I going? Why am I climbing? Well, you got to get your bicycle. It's up there. You want me to ride that thing? Up there in the stratosphere? Oh, Who do you think nothing. I am, Mr. Jordan? Up that ladder. How did Mark Baldy get into this? Why is Up Bob? that ladder. Go on, get yourself an eagle, brother. Wait a minute. What is this? What kind of a... Wait a minute, please. I can't stand out to him. Just a second, I get dizzy spells. Wait a minute. Watch out. Not too high, my nose will bleed. Wait. I may hatch this, you know. Take it easy. We're getting 200 bucks for this. See? Yeah, well, let me hold it. If anything goes wrong, at least I won't die poor. You can trust me, boy. I'll take care of your dog. <laughs> yeah, you take care of it, all right, until some dame comes along. All they have to do is tell you the sad story of their life, and you want to give it a happy ending. Oh, oh Betty, now I'm getting ice on my ears. Don't push. We're here. All right. Um, Gentlemen, oh, I have to get down. I forgot my rosin. Your attention, please. Bottom the Magnificent will now perform sensational and death-defying aerial feat: the ride through space. What's your problem, honey? I'm in trouble. Big trouble. Oh, there, there. We'll just tell old Scat all about it. Please, There's nothing please, between please, wait, himself like and eternity please, but wait. nerves of steel. Introducing Bottom the Magnificent, substituting for Sandar, who unfortunately broke his leg this afternoon. Oh, oh, just a second. Oh, wait, I'm not getting enough money. I don't, wait, whoa, whoa. But please, please. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa. whoa. I did it! I did it! Oh, no. 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 no! Just one show! I... Please, it's windy out there! Please! Please don't! 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 No. Where'd you go? No! Please! No! Help! 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 You know, this picture could end right here. Scott! Do something, you burglar! Lay your coat down! Help! Yes. Yeah. Hang on, pal. Old Scott will take care of you. Get up. Help! Get away from you, Get up! 
Derby. Yeah. You'll be glue if you talk to him. Brazil. <laughs> no girls anywhere as pretty as the girls in Brazil. until I get my money back. If you break his legs, don't tear the tights. They belong to me. Come on, let's find them. Now watch your step, folks. Step carefully, please. Texas steer, he's still kicking a little. See the cozy little hideaway I found for us. A lifeboat built for two. All I want to do is curl up on a nice warm stove. Huh? Hey, in here. Suits, gentlemen. But just a minute. Uh, where are the other two? Why, I really don't know, sir. I, I had them when I left. Oh. Well, would you please try to find those suits? We'll be terribly inconvenienced without them, and 
You wouldn't want us to be inconvenienced. Those suits were tailor-made. We're very fond of them. We'd better get them back. Harry! That'll be all, thank you. tell you when to get tough with people. You're working for me, Harry. And I've too much at stake to have it spoiled by your hoodlum tactics. Is that clear? Right, Mrs. Vale. Come with me. I can't find Lucia. Light, now we can see. Yeah, I've seen enough for you. Here, here give me that. Burn that man's suit. I'd Get like down. to defrost my goose pimples. You don't mind. Oh, isn't this great? The housing shortage beat. We got our own little lifeboat, boy. Yeah, if the boat sinks, we're sitting pretty. For a change, we got to jump on the women and children. You couldn't get me a trap like this down near the boiler room, could you? Don't want you down near like the boiler room. Like a little heat. No. Like to hear from my blood again. No. Want you up on deck where it's healthy. Where you breathe that good, deep salt air. Mm. Yeah, you're salty enough for me, boy. Get me in these nooks only because you give my money to those names. May I give you one small piece of chit chat for your files? If I the may. most beautiful woman in the world would walk by here this minute, you know what I'd do? Give her the full fuller. I'd give her the brush. You can't sell it. <laughs> Did you hear that? What's that? <laughs> Who's there? Oh, it's just a dame. Yeah, but she's crying. Maybe I can help her. Oh, don't bother. She's old enough to blow her own nose. Oh, oh wait a minute. You gave me your word of honor, your scout's oath, and you crossed your heart. That's a tough parlay to buck. Yeah, but those are real tears. Now, this dame is different. Here, here now. Here. Stop, let me go. Here, here now. Do that? That water's pretty cold out there. Hey, let's get back, pal. You want us to get caught? Come on. I said, let oh, me wait. go. Here, no. here. Let her go. Maybe she wants to rinse a few things. Go ahead. That's the wrong me. idea. You're loaded. You get everything to live for. Yeah, she's loaded. I know, but remember Oklahoma, Texas, New Orleans. Come on and help you jump, baby. Here now, come, come here. here. Get back in the nook. Go on. Hey, whoa. Say, wait a minute. I just thought of something. Wait a minute. If you jump, you'll get us in trouble. We got all we can handle now. I'm sorry. I'll go back to my cabin. Yeah, go back to your cabin and shoot yourself. That way nobody will get hurt. Here's Make your it very quiet. A little killing, just take it easy. Who are those men with Lucia? I don't know, but there's something familiar about them. There should be. They're wearing our suits. You're going to thank me later for interfering. I can thank you now, Mr. Sweeney, Scat Sweeney. My name is Lucia Maria de Andrade. Yeah, and I'm Hot Lips Barton. Okay, introduction's over. Let's spread out. Wait a minute. Don't, don't skip. Wait, don't push me, Pappy. This kid's in a lot of trouble now. We gotta take things easy. Will you please give her the brush? Scout's on her. Okay. So long, kid. And don't tell him any sad stories because we're tapped, cleaned out, haven't got to eat. Stowaways, third class. Stowaways. Why do you want to take that long, wet leap? A gorgeous gal like yourself, hmm? I don't know. I'm worried and confused. I, I just don't know. Couldn't be a man, could it? No. Yes, I suppose so. Oh, I get it. All men are rats and... No. No, it isn't that at all. I love Sherman. He's going to meet me in Rio. We'll be married. We'll be happy. We'll be very happy. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Who's, who's Sherman? He's my Aunt Catherine's brother. Your uncle? No. He... You see, she's... Not really my aunt. She's my guardian. Oh, well, does she know about... Oh, no. If she ever found out what I tried to do tonight, she'd be heartbroken. She's a wonderful woman. <laughs> now we're both confused. You're not in love with this fellow. You couldn't be. Girls don't go around cutting themselves in with the porpoises when they're going to marry the, the fellow they love. That, that doesn't make any sense at all. No. Nothing makes sense lately. Every time I make up my mind to do something, I, I change it. Just as though I had no will of my own. There are hours. Days even when I, I just don't remember what's happened. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Sweeney, and maybe you're right. Wait a minute, don't you tell me what I'm thinking. You're just as normal as I am. 
that's any consolation to you, but, but you've got to pull yourself together, huh? Outdoors and everything. Mind sitting here in the balcony? Wonder what we're running tonight. Hey, look, honey. Hey, you're going through a tough time and you're letting it get you. That's no way to handle trouble. Look at Max and Gertrude up there on the screen. Now, her lease is up and he's got a big hangover and her feet are killing her, but. There they are up there, floating through the air as if they didn't have a care in the world. How do you know all this? Watch the next shot. Why, Mr. Sweeney, that Jew and your friend. That's right. We stopped off in Hollywood for a few days and stole a couple of dollars doing extra work. <laughs> oh, Hot Lips, he's really hamming it up, isn't he? to Max and Gertrude. You'd think he was madly in love with her, wouldn't you? Now, i tell you something. The boy has a redhead in Jersey City. Mad about her. You'd think she's in love with him, but she's not. What's this? Uh, he thinks she's in love with him. What's this here? Loves to show his teeth. You can't blame him, though. It cost him a pretty penny. You see? No use for Ian. Love is funny, or it's sad, or it's quiet, or it's mad. It's a good thing, or it's bad, but beautiful, beautiful to take a chance. And if you fall, you fall And I'm thinking I wouldn't mind at all Love is tearful Or it's gay It's a problem Or it's play It's a heartache Either way, but beautiful. And I'm thinking, if you were mine, I'd never let you go. And that would be, but beautiful. Happy little grable bait. Come on in. What happened? Did you brush her off, or do I have to learn how to say not guilty in Portuguese? Oh, this girl's in trouble, boy. Big trouble, big. Yeah. She's in a worse jam than that girl in Bridgeport. Bridgeport? You mean the wife of that sword swallower? Chased us six blocks, burping daggers all the way? Oh, don't go again, please. Please. Here. 
Lucia, are you asleep? Listen closely, child. You love Sherman. I love Sherman. Those two men you met tonight, they're stowaways. They're stowaways. They should be reported. They should be reported. You hate them. You loathe them. You despise them. I hate them. I loathe them. I despise them. Sleep, child. Sleep. You like sugar on your ketchup? Nice grab, a bottle of blood. No toothpicks, even. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna eat a shoe. Yeah, and I don't snap your I'm cat. Come on, join me. We'll get something solid. Hey, wait a minute. I can't go out there in this costume. They'll pick me up. Which is a switch. That's right. Let us be inventive, Egghead. We take your leotard. Steady, you steady now. <laughs> Open your coat. Steady now. Show you something. Will it fit this high? You'll be a smash on the deck. Yes. You look like Lord Puffingwell out for his bracelet in the morning. Yes, that's very <laughs> nice. Oh, that's jolly, isn't it? Get out of there. Mm -hmm. There you are. Let me oh, see. Oh, that's grand. Put a bottle of tiger sweat in my hand, and I'm a man of distinction. There you Will are. you join me in a bloater? Lead, old boy. Lead, old boy. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you. There you are, Mr. Stanley. How'd you do? Oh, how are you there? Starting to kick up a bit, don't you think? Keep a stiff upper. It always gets a bit choppy here through the Gulf Stream, you know? Yes, I clearly remember the last trip. I understand at that time the ship did a complete somersault. Yes. Lost my wife, you know. Oh, lucky fellow. Lucky fellow. Say, what do you say? You'll join me in a spot of breakfast, huh? Maybe a waffle? And Shall we then? That titillates my gastric juices. <laughs> my stomach is drooling too, you know. Maple syrup, or honey, or something. Eh? Nice thick maple syrup. Yes, or maybe a piece of ham. Oh, oh, nice thick greasy ham. Yes, a little bit of fat back. Oh, yes. yes some banana cream, cream pie. Yum, yum, yummy, absolutely wizard. That sounds like a breakfast fit for a fat old king. Waffles, maple syrup, and ham. Maybe some onion soup for the chase. Yeah. Excuse me. I <laughs> Tell old boy. Dig in, pal. Come on, come on, what's the matter? You shouldn't have mentioned that onion soup. Oh, you weak stomach people. I come from a long line of seafaring. Okay, boys, let's find them. Seems to have calmed down a bit, huh? Not for me, it hasn't. There's Lucy. Hello, honey. I see she brought a friend for you. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I hate you. I loathe you. I despise you. <laughs> you made a lot of progress last night. Why, honey, this is your old buddy, Scat. Don't you remember last night, the rail and the, and the song? Officer, I want to report these men. They're stowaways. Yeah, have played a record. Well, now, what kind oh, of... Oh, so you're the two guys. No, the, no, Come no, with no, me. Yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute. The lapel. Drop the, lapel. the material here. Fly, fly, fly. I'm in the stretch. What happened? Nothing important, child. Let's have breakfast. No, sir. Did you check the linen lockers? Yes, sir. No luck. Well, I'll find those pedicators are the last thing I do.
steady, Ingrid. <laughs> so sorry. Tip me later. Baffles me. What kind of a piece of business is this? I save her life, and she turns us in. Can you figure out why she hates me? Why she hates you? Yeah. No, that's <laughs> hard to figure why she hates you. <sighs> Governor, get our note. Come on, the captain wants to see you. If it isn't Captain Bly. I mean, Mr. Christian. You think you'll go for it? Just say it. I'll tell him we're both nuts. He'll only believe you. All right, the captain will do the talking. Say, Captain, I think our say, presence here can be explained very treat. simply. It's just a situation. Our... Phil, oh, not oh. that. Stay away from us, will you, sister? Please, I want to help you. Oh, she wants to help us. Yeah, what's the matter? You mad because we're still breathing? I think these belong to you. Oh, come to daddy. Well, my old heater. My little brass gold mine. Now I can smoke up and learn the truth. Did they hurt you? Say, ah. Gentlemen, how would you like to work your passage to Rio as members of the ship's orchestra? Do you mean it? Both of us? Yes, both of you. Just report to the leader. I've already spoken to him. Oh, oh Captain, that's wonderful. thanks a lot. Don't thank me. I leave you in the custody of your benefactors. Oh. Can't we be friends? I'm really very grateful. Grateful, huh? What's the idea of turning us in, then? I don't know what came over me. I found myself saying things, and I didn't know why I was saying them. Look, why don't you just run for Congress and let us alone, huh? Oh, no, look. Lay off those kisses. You know he's weak. Oh, I just wanted to show my gratitude. Well, show me. I can take it. All right. This is for both of you. Steady. I'll get him in the next round. Oh, oh. <laughs> you should have been with me in that refrigerator. I... Look, sister, you might as well face it. My buddy's turned over a new leaf. Tell her. Look. <clears throat> in a lifetime of tears and laughter, it has been my discovery that friendship between two men is more important than friendship between a man and a woman. Duller, but more important. Tell her you're through with women. And as far as you and I are concerned, we don't even know each other.
Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we arrive in Rio shortly, and the purser has asked me to announce if you have any questions concerning disembarkation. He'd be glad to answer them for you if you come to his office in the morning. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Sweeney. Hello. We've a problem that is apt to spoil the trip, because when we get off the ship, we know we'll never understand the language. We won't be hip. Oh, now, Miss Andrews. To do deliberation of your problem, all you do is wooing and wobble them, which in any language always means a miss. A kiss. And this? Da Pontinha. Hey, amigo, now we know. Now they know. Yes, we know. Now they know. Yes, we know. Now how they know. You need a vacation Brazil is a place you should be So you can't understand what they're saying Or you can't read a sign that you see But you don't have to know the language With the moon in the sky And a girl in your arms And a look in her eyes You stop at the Copacabana A sugar loaf mountain in view So the words on the menu mean nothing you can't ask a soul what to do, but you don't have to know the language. With the moon in the sky and a girl in your arms and a look in her eyes. Is that the good one? No, this one. When she smiles your way, what more would you want anyone to say? So you sigh, just sigh. You don't have to mention that Yankee craze. Sigh, and I. Perhaps when you end your vacation, you bring back a bit of Brazil So you can't understand what she's saying You need an interpreter still But you don't have to know the language With the moon in the sky And a girl in your eyes And a look in her eyes I know you don't have to know the language If you don't want to say goodbye With the moon in the sky And a girl in your eyes look in her eyes. You don't have to know. You don't have to know. The language isn't necessary because the meaning doesn't vary if you've got the charm and taste. The language isn't necessary. She smiles your way. What more would you want anyone to say? So you sigh, just sigh. You don't have to mention that Yankee phrase, I, I. Perhaps when you end your vacation, you bring back a bit of the so you can understand what she's saying You need an interpreter still But you don't even have to know the language With the moon in the sky And a girl in your arms And a look in her eyes ay, 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 ay. No, you don't have to know the language If you don't want to say goodbye Some orchestra. I still got three bars to go. It's two under par for you. Everybody's finished. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Going out for a little smoke. Oh, no. You've been telling me that every night for the past week. This time I'm going with you. Make sure it's only the pipe that smokes. Just a minute, clumsy. Pick up that stuff. What? You heard what the man said. Stoop if you can. Come on. Oh, no, no. What? What stuff? This stuff. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Harry. 
she'll be meeting him in the same place. Let's see what they're up to. Strange business. I don't get it. Where's that radiogram you mentioned? I've hidden it over here. Let me see it. It arrived today for Mrs. Vail. I opened it. Rodriguez knows about the papers. Immediate marriage necessary. Signed, Sherman. What papers? I can't imagine. Who's this, uh, Rodriguez? He's the attorney for my aunt's estate. Looks to me like Sherman, boy, is after your money. Oh, no. It couldn't be that. My Aunt Catherine has supported me all of my life. No, I still don't like her. She gives me a creepy feeling. You know, lately I seem to get the same feeling. Sometimes when she talks to me, I get chills up my spine. Honey, next time you get chilly, I'm your man. Lucia, mind if I come in, honey? How do you like that dish-faced Don Juan? He's checking up on me. Lucia, this is Hot Lips. String him along a little bit. We might need him, huh? Now, this is the first place he looks. Well, here I am. Start bubbling. Hello. Are you alone? I certainly am alone. Why do you ask? Well, I thought you might have a date with Bean Belly. Oh, no. What makes you think that? Well, he's always looking for a place to keep warm. Yeah. You don't think I could get serious about him with a great, big, handsome hunk of man like you around, do you? Just call me Hunk. All right, Hunk. I must remember what kind of soap I used this morning. Here, drop anchor here, baby, and we'll talk it over. Did I say talk? <laughs> yes, we do have a lot. I know. There's not much time for talking. I know how you feel. Shall I kiss you now, or do you want me to tease you for a while? Oh, but hot lips. I'm all lips. Please, I... I know how you feel. You're warm, grateful, passionate. What's the matter? Are you crazy or something? But please, who, I... Who came I, in? I'm sorry. I, I lost my head. Yeah, that makes two of us. Huh? I'm sorry. Please sit down. You sold me, baby. Come on, dear. Oh, that's better. Let's live a little. <laughs> Forgiven? Oh, naturally. Naturally. Oh, you have such a nice, smooth hand. Oh, but this one's even softer. Mm. And this one's softer, too. <laughs> you have three of the nicest. Uh, three hands? Three? And this one's got hair on it. Aha, uh -huh, it's got an ape on the end of it. Alone, huh? Who's this, your father? You were never better, Junior. Great uh, try. Goodbye, sister, and don't write. Now, take it easy. Let me tell you something. You don't oh, really... that's all right. I'm not blaming you, pal. You couldn't help yourself. You're just a weak, spineless jellyfish. You're so sweet. I'm no dope. I know what's cooking here. Don't you see, pal? This doll's making a play for you so she can get to me. But hot lips... Yeah, but it's not gonna work, baby. You've double-crossed your last sucker. Come on, let's blow this nest. Uh oh Mrs. Vale. Oh, the Black Widow. The closet. Come on. There you are. The captain's been asking for you, child. I was just coming up. <laughs> Don't kick them. They've had enough. Cigarette? Thank you. Find Lucia. Yes, ma'am. Scat, you do believe that I didn't know those men were in the closet. Oh, I believe you, but that hot lips still thinks he was framed. Let's let him think that way, huh? What are we doing in here? I thought you were getting me off the boat. Stand by. Genius. Thinking all the time. There you are, all to yourself. Very intimate. Oh, Scat, you're a genius. Well, I admit it. Get in there. Take off that skimmer. Oh, yeah. Can you handle it? Oh, I think so. 
Here, now, in case you want to get a little air, you can bore yourself an opening. No, right. no dancing, please. Tilt. Sorry, honey. Hey, Dad, what do you say? Oh, there you are, there you are. Why did you want me to meet you down here? Big news for you. We signed a bull fiddle player. We're going to meet him up at the hotel. Oh, that's good. What do we want with a bull fiddle player? My mind is working all the time. Wheels are turning. Oh, tell me more, Orson. When we get off the boat, we're gonna get a band for you like you always wanted. Isn't that wonderful? Are you happy? I'm happy. Let yeah, me see so how you look when you're happy. Not that, not that, not that, not yeah. that happy, not no, that I happy. See, right. I talk the language, uh -huh. I'll make the contacts. We can't miss. You're getting on the ball. Glad you're for on. a minute, I thought you were down here with Lucy. Oh, that doll is cooked with me, boy. <laughs> Feels like the bull is already in here. <laughs> courage, courage. Hey. Why do we have to carry this thing? That's a union rule down here. The bull fiddle player never carries his own instrument. What, they got their own union? Yes, take some. Oh, here we go. Ay. <coughs> Push a little. This is no rickshaw, you left brother boy. I can't understand you leaving Lucia without even saying goodbye. Oh, I'm through with that chick. I told you downstairs. Don't you believe me? Yeah. Can you breathe all right? Sure, I can breathe. See? Won't be long. <laughs> Easy there, Butterfingers, oh. easy. You waiting for your broom? <laughs> I'll listen for you on Inner Sanctum. What about Rodriguez? Nothing yet. As long as he doesn't get to Lucia before the wedding, we're safe. The papers. Good. Put them away. Where's the girl? She's not on the boat. What do you mean, she's not on the boat? She's not on the boat. She must have gotten off with those two musicians. What two musicians? The two men she met on the boat. Well, what about the wedding? There'll be a wedding. They just left the pier. Follow them and you'll find Lucia. And then take care of those two. I hope you had a pleasant trip, Captain Harmon. Ah, oh, Mr. Rodriguez. Uh, tell me, uh, Captain, have you seen Senorita uh, Lucia de Andrade? Lucia? Yes. Didn't she get off with her aunt? No, I, I didn't see her. Then she must have left with those two American musicians. Two American musicians? I, I wonder how I can find them. Well, that shouldn't be very difficult. One of them has... Thank you very much, Captain. All right. Thank you. What is this, another lobby? Don't be silly, this is our suite. Our suite? Who pays? Pon your key, por favor. Uh, si, drop, senor. drop it, yeah, see, si, si. Cuidado, cuidado. Hey, 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 who's getting married? This is two men. Compliment of the hotel, senor. Oh, oh on the cuff. <laughs> Keep coming. Uh, tip the boys, huh? I'm, we're down to our last buck. How do you say, give me some change in Portuguese? Uh, Muito obrigado. It's too late. Oh, obrigado. There they go, they're off. Check back, men, huh? Here we go. Hey, check back. Say, we're down to the burlap, you know. Stop beeping, will you? Give me a hand with this What thing. are we going to do? Eat Hurry the rug up. here? Just take it right there by the end. That's yeah. a good man. Up Take we it go. easy. Up. Up. Don't strain up. yourself there. There's another handle, you know. Up. Up. What are you, the head of the union? Oh, you're always beefing. Yeah. You'd holler if you're hung with a new rope. Mm -hmm. Here we are living in a wonderful suite, the most expensive in the hotel. Yeah, and there better be a fire escape. Are you all right? You keep asking me. I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay. Then put this over in the corner, will you? Why don't you get a whip? You're not a little stiff, are you? Stiff? I haven't had a drink since I left the boat. And I set up a suite. What do we need two bedrooms for? Well, you can't expect Lucy to sleep on the sofa. No, sir. If anybody sleeps on the sofa, I'm... Huh? Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Heartless. Oh, no, no. You're, you're a mirage. It can't be. It's just a figment of my imagination. A, a soft figment. Bull fiddle, huh? Wait a minute. The bull fiddle, those two gorillas, if they'd have known what was going on, they'd have killed us. And what makes me think they didn't know? Come on. Now, take it easy. Take it easy. So long, sister. And if we don't get in touch with you, it's nothing personal. It's just that we're prejudiced against dying young. He's right, Scat. This is my problem. Hold it. Now, wait. Look, oh. pal, this gal's in a lot of trouble. And you gotta help her, like any guy would with red blood in his veins. Yeah, well, I got news for you. I'm anemic. She stays with us. <laughs> nothing doing. If you think I'm gonna let a beautiful doll like this live in the same apartment that I'm living in, hmm, if you think... If you... If... Yes, hot lips. I'll give you just 72 hours to get out of here. Man, grand. Now we're promoting. Well, come on. What are we waiting for? Let's live a little. Well, I'd like to if you'd only let me. Open this up. I'll have mine straight. Happy grapes. Are you ready to bubble? Uh, Guanabara Club, please. Yes. Like to speak to Senor uh, Cardoza? 
Who's Cardosa? One of the boys in the band gave me a lead on him. He's a fellow down here who goes for jump music in a big way. Oh, we're going to pick up a little brand. Now we're moving. Hello, Cardosa. This is Scat Sweeney of Scat Sweeney and his Dixie Hot Shots. Featuring Hot Lips Barton. Featuring Hot Lips Barton, yeah. Zoot Shapiro uh, told me I should look you up immediately we landed down here. He said you might have a spot for our band in your new club. If you're any good, I certainly could use you. Mr. Cardosa, our group is gone, really gone. Also got a great gal singer with us, Ginger O'Rourke. Great singer? Well, if she looks like Lamore, she can sing like Lamore, can't she? <laughs> Tell him she plays bull fiddle from the inside. Also plays the... No. The rest of the band? Well, there's, uh... Well, there's me and uh, Hot Lips Barton. That's two, three, four, five pieces. Five pieces in the band, yes. Say, what? Yes, Mr. Cardoza? Well, that's a little soon, don't you think? How about uh, tomorrow night? Fine, fine. You got yourself a band, brother. How's that for operating, huh? Uh, don't put away your scalpel, Doc. Where are the other pieces? Let's uh, get... Uh, huh? You mean you're gonna hire those guys? Why not? Let's talk to them. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, but they're on key. Come on. You gonna break open the happy brew or what? What? Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Oh. oh. To the Dixie Hot Shot? Yes, right. Well, not so hard. Oh, I must go on a diet. The grape must be a little grumpy. We go again? Right, sir. I'll put it right in there. It's pretty athletic stuff. That might have happened to my stomach. You ready, boy? I guess so. We're through here. Hey. How about that? Now, don't miss this time. What are you looking for? A light. Oh, you got a light. <laughs> How they don't call me hot lips for nothing, you know. I... Hey, let's get out of here. This joint is haunted. We need, huh? Oh, we'll never get away with it. We want Dixie Hot Shots, not Hot Tamales. Well, it's simple. We'll get five snappy Zooty uniforms. Using what for money? Fuck something we don't need. Like your head? Wait a minute. I think I can help. I know a store where we can get credit. Great. I'll clinch the deal. Hey, fellas! Rapazes! Tell them. Uh, Voces gastarium de tocar numa orquestra de verdade? Hmm? What'd you say here? They're joining up. Yeah. Up, 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 up. Wait, George. Let's not be that grateful. That's our racket. Come on, honey. Hey. Lead us to the store. Here we go. Come along. Hey, wait a minute. What's your problem? Lobster ear. Don't you want to think this thing over? No, nothing to think over. Come along. We're set. You're happy, huh? Gee, things grow fast in this country. Oh. Huh? Tropics, you know. Come along. Mm. Scat Sweeney was one of those men on the boat. And Ginger O'Rourke is Lucia. Good evening. This is Vale's reservation. Yes, Julia. Right this way, please. I don't like it. These stripes look too good on us. You would know. You know, I got a funny feeling about this whole deal, Scat. It's too perfect. That, that, stop worrying. You want to get wrinkles over your wrinkles? La passes. And special. <laughs> oh, look more like Americans than we do. They could be the Andrews brothers, huh? Yeah, Patty Laverne and Pancho. Hey, wait a minute. Hold everything. What's your problem? We're supposed to be Americans. These guys don't even understand English. I got that licked. Teach them a little hep talk, and Cardozo will never know the difference. Cuando, Senor Cardozo, 
para con vocês, no respondan en portugués. Usen solamente la frase que les voy a enseñar en inglés. Now break it up for us foreigners. We'll go. Vos eres. You're telling me. You're telling me. You're telling me. You're telling me. With them. Vos eres. You're in the groove, Jackson. You're, you're in, in the, the groove, groove Jackson. Jackson. You're in the groove, Jackson. You're telling me. You're in the groove, Jackson. You're telling me. What do you think? What do you... What do I think? This is murder. This is murder. This is murder. You're in the groove, Jackson. You're telling me. This is murder. What do I think? You're telling me. You're what do I think? think? This is murder. <laughs> time, time, drag. You better rehearse. Right. <clears throat> now, when I hold up one thing, un dedo. You're telling me. You're in the groove, Jackson. This is murder. Five more minutes, I'd speak better English than you. You in the group, Jackson? This is murder. You're telling me. You're in the group, Jackson. You're telling me. You're telling me. Come on. 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 Come on, let's cut in quick. Uh, oh, um, hi, Mr. Cardoza. I see you've met the boys. Well, not really. I was just... Oh, uh, this is Spike Sachinowski. Spike Sachinowski. Nice Mr. Cardoza. Yes, sir. I'm on a gentleman. Here we go. Okay, come, fellas, come understand. On. See you later. Well, all you have a few minutes yet. <laughs> uh, let's shoot the grease, eh, boys? No, they use most of it in their hair. Uh, they don't talk very much, do they? Well, actually, they, they talk a blue streak when they get going. Y yeah, say something to Mr. Cardoza, fellas. You're in the groove, Jackson. <laughs> in the sweet? Uh, plant me now and dig me later, eh, big boy? <laughs> oh, you're groovy. Well, shall we then? Come along. <laughs> oh, oh, just a minute. I'm sorry. You will have to put out that cigarette. No smoking. I said, no smoking. You're telling me? No, no, I'm telling him. He's the one that's smoking. This is murder. Yeah. I don't care if it is murder. You cannot smoke. No smoking. No smoking. <laughs> You're in the groove, Jackson. You don't have to get fresh, you know. I'm only telling him the rules. You're telling me? Oh, no. <laughs> I told you before, I'm telling him. For the third time. No smoking. This is murder. Ay, 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 de mi paciencia. You want to stunt your growth? He's a tobacco thing, but it shan't happen again, I promise you. Shall we then? You're telling me. You're telling me? You're telling me? Back off. You're telling no. me? What? <laughs> he likes to mimic people. It's one of those His things. His mother was frightened by a parrot. Mm, crazy Americanos. <laughs> <laughs> Teach him some more and we'll get killed. This is murder. You're telling me? Oh. Oh. What a gown. Well, how'd you put that on? With a spray gun? <sighs> yeah, you heard what the man said. No smoking. Not one little puff? No. Is everything going all right? Sensational. Watch this. You're telling me? You're in the group, Jackson. Murder. You're telling me? 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 You're Such a wonderful thing, one glance, and I was set for a flame. And he isn't flippin' flighty like high school boys. He's a college man with plenty of points. He knows an awful lot, I guess you'd say he's got. Experience, experience. He takes me out to dine and knows the proper wine. Because he's got experience. Riding in his car, we had a flat. It was dark as it could be. He got the tools and fixed it just like that. Experience, you see, 
He takes me straight home and he bows and shakes my hand. Experience comes through. So if you want someone to plan with, I'll gladly give this man with experience to you. Break it up big now, buddy. somewhere experience you see he plays the nicest note and this belongs in quotes experience comes through so if you want someone to plan with I'll gladly give this man with experience to you Scat, my aunt is out in front, and she wants me to join. Oh, no, not that woman again. Honey, she's nothing but trouble. Not anymore, Scat. I'll see her. <laughs> very good, boys. Very good. Groovy, groovy. Oh, you had it broken you up. You were wonderful, oh, wonderful. Wait. Congratulations, the guts. How'd you like that? From now on, you are working for Cardoso. Oh. Best movie ever made. You'll own the joint in a couple of months. Oh. Get a dancer for the bubbles. I will be right back. You are wonderful, Holly. Congratulations. Thank you, Sherman. Oh, come on, sit down. We'd like to talk to you. I'm sorry to have to say this, Sherman, but if it's about the wedding, my mind is made up. Oh, but Lucy. Of course, dear. And we'd be the last to try to change your mind. Do sit down. Naturally, I'm not very happy about what you're doing, Lucy. If that's the way you feel, then of course I want to help you. Don't you see, dear? That's all. I want to help you. A drink to our future, gentlemen. Uh oh, Betty. <laughs> to the Dixie Hot Shots. Who are they? Oh, us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, uh, Ginger. Ah, you're just in time, Miss Aura. Yeah, get a load of this contract. We just signed for five years, two week guarantee. You proud of me, honey? I hate you. I loathe you. I despise you. Baby! She acts more like Bogey. <laughs> hey, please. What is going on? What is this? These men are making a fool of you, Mr. Cardoza. They told you this was an American band, but it isn't. Shh. They picked up those three men right here on the street in Rio. Don't you pay any attention to her, Mr. Cardoza. She jumps the track now and then. Yeah, her really... noggin's on the toboggan. Cleo, your camels are waiting. Look at those clothes. You are not Americans. You're telling me? You're telling me? No, Look, no, 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 you in the group? Hey, oh, no. So, you are ponies. You have been making a fool of Cardoso. No, no, we're doing everything for you. You're out out there. A but a big hit you giving you a fool. That does Martin not Martin matter. Martin. Liars do not work for Cardoso. Get out. Oh, what, what are we? Follow the key. Follow the key. You don't have to call us names. Get out. We're on the level. Look at our faces. Don't confuse the man. Mr. Oh. Let me tell Get you out. one thing. 
What is Pedro, oh, yeah. Silvio. Who is that? You are true. Fire. Yeah, but Keep we can't. Keep here and never come back. We, we can we, explain we, everything. Just let us talk a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, drop, drop that body. Double. Just. <laughs> what what is that? Yeah. Oh, you all right, pal? Oh, I hate you. I loathe you. I despise you. Ooh. Play off me. Well, I feel bad enough. You phonies. You will never work in Rio again. Who wants to work? We're musicians. Broken down trap. Put them in the safe when you get to the plantation. What about those two musicians? They can still cause trouble, you know. Oh, really, Sherman. You should know by now that I never leave any loose ends. Get some sleep, child. You have a long trip ahead of you. Yes, come along, darling. All right, Harry. Let's drive around to the stage entrance. With pleasure. There we are. I guess our engagement with Senor Cardoso was of the limited variety. Yeah, but don't worry, Dad. We'll find another country where a dame can get you in trouble, I'm I sure. I can't figure that Lucy out. One moment, she's sweet as pie, and the next second, a heel. What's in her mind? What's in back of all this? Look, you got 32 slaps. You want to try for 64? Yes. Let's grab a northbound boat, and I get a switch this time. This time, you hang in the meat hook. Oh, yes. Oh, hmm. better tell the boys it's off. Rapaces. Siento muito. Está bem. Está bem. importância. We'll send you one of our old straight jackets, huh? Bye, fellas. So long. Adios. Adios. <laughs> Come on, genius. Let's grab the boat. Uh oh. It's tall, dark, and cyanide. <clears throat> Good evening, Mr. Sweeney. Mr. Barton. Hi, Mrs. Vale. Hi, fellas. What do you hear from your embalmer? Sweetie. Yeah. I'd like to make you and your friend a business proposition. Business? He's all ears. What kind of a proposition? Ducey is getting married tomorrow. I think it would be best for all of us if she never saw you again. I'm willing to give you ten thousand dollars to leave Brazil. Ten grand? Well, that's a big deal. Uh, we'll have to have some time to think this over. Yeah, you'll have to give us time. <laughs> well, time's up. Where's the money? Oh, really? I don't have it with me now. Come along. We'll arrange the details at my home. Uh, Let's talk this over. Let's get the money and then talk and count at the same time. Let's Happy thoughts. Jolly. Yes. We usually charge 15000 to leave countries. You're getting quite a bargain. Straight to the vault, change. Por favor. Vocês viram dois americanos, um com um nariz arrebitado e outro com orelhas de apano? Oh, sim. Jogamos eles para fora. Onde? Foram para lá. Ah, obrigado. Muito obrigado. You can skip the java, Mrs. Vale. Yeah, never mind the coffee. Just pour the sugar, huh? <laughs> You're a very suspicious young man, aren't you? No, it's not that. It's just that we're grown up. This might be a plot to get rid of us. Coffee might be poisoned. Yeah, who knows? This could... Have you got any tea? 
<laughs> Very well. I'll put your minds at ease. Which would you rather have? 10,000 in cash or this piece of jewelry? Well, personally, I look better in the green stuff. Hey, just a minute, it's my turn. I'm afraid you've made a very poor choice, gentlemen. You see, this locket happens to be worth $50,000. 50? The stone is one of the largest and purest of star sapphires. It was mined in the Ranjipur province of India many generations ago. Way down there? If you look closely, you can see the iridescent star of the true sapphire. Look closely. Closely. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Can you see it, Mr. Sweeney? Look deep into the stone. Now do you see the star? Yeah, I can see it. Good. Keep looking into the star. You won't be needing this. Many years ago, two men killed each other in the struggle for the possession of this stone. One of them was the Duc de Champaire, a good-looking young man who bore a resemblance to you, Mr. Sweeney. In fact, you are the Duc de Champaire. I am the Duc de Champaire. The other man was a certain Count Vinescu. I'm the Count. For generation after generation, gentlemen, your two families have hated each other. I hate your family. I hate yours. This hatred has descended to you, the last decadent offspring of these noble ancestors. Swine. Pig. That's the same as swine. All right. Ham. You both desire the stone. You would kill to get it. There's only one way. A duel. A duel. A duel to the death. A duel. To the death. To the death. A duel. To the death. Come, gentlemen. Pistols, gentlemen. Loaded, I trust. It's easy to find out. Not yet. Not sporting, huh? My man is ready, Baron. Good. You gentlemen know the rules. When I say go, take ten paces, turn, and fire. Take ten, ten paces, turn, and fire. Let's get out of here. Go! Well, dog, why do you wait? Haven't we forgotten something? Ah, oh, yes. Final insult. Ten paces, turn and fire. Ten paces, turn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? A gun. Oh, I remember. That dame, she hypnotized us. Uh-huh. You've got a gun, too. She wanted us to kill each other. Boy, what a narrow escape, huh, pal? Oh. Ten paces, turn and fire. Oh, now, Duke. Duke, scat. I mean, scat snap out of it. Wake up. Look, you don't want to kill me. I'm your buddy, your friend. It's no use, Count Vinescu. Oh, but I'm not a count. I'm not a count. I'm just hot lips bart and a plain ordinary schmo. I must avenge the family honor. What family? You haven't even got a family. You were left in a doorstep with a bottle of milk, homogenized. Ten paces, turn and fire. Stop saying that, Scat. You gotta listen to me. We're friends. We're practically brothers. Blood is thicker than water, and this is no time to prove it. Besides, I want to live. I'm too young to die. Too young. Do you hear me? Too young. <laughs> Let go, you spine. That's the same as big. Eight. No. Nine. No. Ten no. paces. No, no. No, no. Walk some more. You took short ones. No. Turn. Don't do it, pal. Don't shoot. You haven't got a license. Besides, I'm out of season. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> oh. 
hot lips. Hot lips. Oh, my pal. My buddy. And I killed him. Oh, when I think of all the gay, carefree, happy times we've had together and... Now he's gone. I wonder where he kept his life insurance. I'll always remember you like this, partner. Lying there in that beautiful double-breasted brown pinstripe. Hardly even been worn. Well, you've got me to thank for this. I've lied to you, I've double-crossed you, I've conned you ever since the day we first met. Remember that gal in St. Louis? The one that broke a date with you because she had to go to the movies with her grandmother? Well, I was granny. We didn't see much of the picture. <laughs> you remember the 20 bucks that disappeared in Cincinnati? You thought your money belt sprung a leak. I stole that 20 bucks. And bought myself a duck press. Hot lips! You're alive! Say something! Give me that 20 bucks. Let me help you, let me help you. Wait, don't help me anymore, help you. Granny. You've helped me enough. <laughs> How do you like that? Not even my size. Look, now, you want to take it easy, Jim. Lay off me, you fat Benedict Arnold, you. And another thing, this deal about Lucia. Wait a minute. Lucia? Yeah, what about her? Don't you see? The same thing that happened to us happened to her. That swinging locket routine. Deep. Deep. Stop it. Makes me seasick. That's the gimmick. That's how Mrs. Vale gets to do anything she wants. That's why she's marrying Mallory. Oh, poor kid. But are we gonna stand by and let her throw her life away? Are we gonna take the easy way out? Yes, we are. Are you admitting you're a dirty coward? No, a clean one. I've seen everything. I've seen it all, but never, never in a lifetime of tears and laughter have I seen a guy walk out on a gal who's nuts about him. Well, you're seeing one right now. I tell I... you. mean Lucy? You, you mean she's nuts about me? Just dying to kiss a trumpet player. Mm, well, that figures. It's nothing new to me, you know. I've had dolls blow their lid about me before. Well, don't stand there. You want to be best man, don't you? Come. Always was. Heidi. Que desee, John Senores? Uh, we would like to speak to Senorita de Andrade. We're friends of hers. Ah, for that, you will have to go to Campinas. She's being married this afternoon to Senor Mallory. This afternoon? A big wedding. The whole countryside will be there. How about people? Everybody will attend. Good day, Senores. Muito obrigado. Ombriago. Everybody will be there but us. How far is Campinas? About 300 miles. Walk faster. Brother, we're stymied. Well, not if we can hire a plane. Hire a plane? We haven't got enough to get an airmail stamp. We'll get dough. Oh, sure, there's nothing to it. Guy's gonna step out from behind a tree and say, here, boys, here's some dough, hire a plane. Psst, gentlemen. I wonder if this ever happens in real life. Mr. Sweeney, Mr. Bachman, I... Hey. Whoops. <laughs> Hi. That's Eeny, Meeny, and Moe. My name is Rodriguez. The fellow on the radio, Graham. I understand Lucia is very fond of one of you. You will do anything to help her? Remember, it may mean your life. I'll get the police. No, 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 no. The police cannot help us, not yet. But you can. Now, gentlemen, hidden in a safe in Mrs. Vale's bedroom, at the coffee plantation, you will find the papers. Papers. Morning or evening papers. Uh, they are in a long manila envelope. Find the envelope and give it to the prefeto. Prefeto? Sounds like a dessert. That's one of the local big shots. Huh? The prefeto huh? will be at the wedding. And he's a man we know we can trust. Well, I don't get it. How can the... The papers stop a wedding? Oh, these papers can. <laughs> Gentlemen, you do what I tell you. A momento. What do you think? We'll fly to Campinas. Get the papers. Stop the wedding. Oil, Mrs. Mayo. Rescue Lucia. Oh, hey, what a finish. Great. Who is that? The Warner brothers are very jealous. Thank you. Come. Now, here's the money. Hire a plane. My car will take you to the airport. Yes, come. Well, please. You can spare hey, me. Yes. You're going to go with us, aren't you? I'll be along later with help. Oh, fine. Happy landings. Goodbye. 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 Whoops. 
Break it up, men. We've had this already. Vamos tomorrow and I'll be in Paracampinas. Don't ever use the wheels, it's better that way. Picturesque place, isn't it? Yeah, we gotta meet Chloe here. Oh, she's featured here. Oh, oh look at this. You all right? Come, then. Give me come. There you are. There you are. Pretty cozy in there, wasn't it? Do, all right. Telling me. <laughs> Pay the man, huh? Uh-uh, uh-uh. They went that way. Pay the man. There you are. There we are. Okay, get the nice actual rates. Here, one for the co-pilot. Right here. Nice work. Company guys in here. And the hostess? There you are. Buy yourself a B-29. Make our goodbyes to the rest of the passengers, won't you? Thank you. Which way is the hot dog? Over here. Dentro de poucos minutos, assim que o prefeito chegar. Obrigado. Hey, we gotta find those uh, papers pronto. They're gonna start as soon as the prefeito arrives. He's liable to see a double header. Lucy is wedding and our funeral. Brown, huh? Uh-oh. Mrs. Rigor Mortis. Oof. Let's see what's playing up there in the mezzanine, huh? Amigos! Do you believe in ghosts? Who says opportunity doesn't knock twice? Chapel. My brother's at your side. You're about to be married. Do you see a Maria de Andrade? Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Come, child. Time to get dressed. Come on, let's go in. What's playing in there? The papers. Where's the safe? Behind the painting. Always is. Huh? I... You any more ideas, fat man? Oh. <laughs> Tilt. They must have talked to Rodriguez. Don't worry, Mrs. Vale. They'll never get the papers. How do we know they haven't got them already? Twelve to the left. Seven to the right. Nine to the left. Eight to the right. What was that? Five. Five to the... Five to the right. Papers. Lucky for all of us, they're still here. Tony, you watch that door. Harry, this one. I think our friends will be dropping by. And this time, no game. Let's crack this little crib, huh? Those sneaks. What's the matter with you? We've got the combination. I was just reminiscing. Hurry up. 
papers. Shh. If they hear us, we're dead ducks. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, Davis. Paper. 
papers. Honest, fellas, we haven't got any papers. We can't even read. I wouldn't be yeah. caught dead with... No uh, use. Huh? We're cornered. What you... what fellas, the papers are right in back of the clock. That's right, right there. Back of that pendulum. Stop parsing around. Where's the papers? Give you just ten seconds to make up your mind. Well, look. It's there. One. Right in back of the pendulum. Two. Watch three. Watch the pendulum. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Watch the pendulum. Deep into the pendulum. Deep. Have them. What do we do now? Watch. You are children, little children, playing a game. You're playing patty cake. Yeah, yeah, patty cake. One of you cheats. Naughty, naughty. The other one doesn't like it. You go faster and faster. You're waiting for a chance to get even faster and faster. You're waiting for a signal, a signal to slug each other. And when we say three, that's the signal. One, two, three. <laughs> That's what they get for not seeing our pictures. Come along, come along, come along. I do. Don't you see? She's hypnotized. Oh, snap out of it, honey, for me. Baby. Baby. Ba I'm sorry for this interruption. These hoodlums don't belong Hoodlum. here. Are you going to stand there? Grande, Mrs. Doris. Hood here. Just hey. a second. Wait a minute, sister. You're the one that's going to the clink. This whole wedding is a frame up. Well, you see what we got. Yeah. The papers. Yeah. Oh. What am I doing in this wedding dress? You're all right now, baby. Here you are, sir. Take a look at these papers. Bring the killies to it! Yeah. Be on our side. Well, pull up the drawbridge. Lock the gate. Don't let them out of here. What are you doing, you fool? We, we hate, hate you. We, we loathe you. We despise let you. Let me go. We, we hate you. Let we me go. loathe you. We despise you. Gentlemen, you have all our thanks. Your discovery of these papers has prevented the horrible miscarriage of justice. Well, a paper? Stop a wedding? I still don't get it. Let me see. Uh huh? What does it say? The world must never know. <laughs> what do you know? We never quite made it. Exciting, though, wasn't it? Sorry, nobody home. We'll put the shoes out later, will you? Yeah, you thought you'd get away with it, huh? Get away with what? We're married, bud. You're married? I'm sorry, Scat. This is the man I love. <laughs> My dream boy. Oh, please, honey, not in front of strangers. Why don't you get a barrel and go over the fall, son? We'll check with you. How do you like this? And close the door tight. All the time, I thought she was in love with me. Take it easy, honey. Doesn't figure, doesn't figure at all. Oh, I might have known. Deep. 